Hello friends, welcome to my channel Mr. Recap. Today I am going to explain 2013 animated action adventure movie called Epic. Somebody say once that if you stand still in the forest long enough, you will see signs of a hidden struggle. It's raging between forces of life and decay. That is the survival of the forest itself. If you don't believe it, then take a closer look. While other humans love the luxuries of city, the scientist has chosen to spend his life in the forest. Professor Bomba is not doing all this without a purpose. He is researching the mysterious tiny humanoids hiding in the forest. They are called the Leap Man. Bomba has installed cameras and sensors all around the forest so he can get a glimpse of the Leap Man. As soon as he receives a signal, Bomba rushes to that area but only finds an injured bird. But it seems like someone used to ride it. Bomba is not just imagining things, Leap Man do exist. One of them is Nod, who is a rebellious young man that often gets involved in risky activities. His guardian is a warrior named Ronin, who often stops Nod from fooling around but Nod doesn't listen anymore. Meanwhile, any other person is coming to visit the mysterious forest. It's a young girl named Mary Catherine, nicknamed MK. Her mother died recently and her wish was to reunite MK with her father Bomba. MK stops at her father's house, which looks like it's going to fall apart anytime. MK steps in and starts looking for Bomba, but he is busy in his research. He gets surprised to see her daughter and takes her to the room, while their old dog Ozzy follows them. MK's room has not changed after she left as a kid. She wants to have a relaxing conversation with her father. But Bomba receives a signal from his sensors and rushes to check it out. Today is a special day, it's going to be the full moon and the summer solstice together which only happens after hundreds of years. It's an important day for Leafman as the next year will be chosen today. Ronan reaches the palace to inform Queen Tara. one responsible for keeping the balance of the forest. He wants her daughter to join his research, but MK does not want to research something that can't be even seen or heard. She begs her father to start a new life with her. She needs him. Before Bomba can answer, he gets a strong signal from the forest and rushes outside. MK gives up and decides to go back to live by herself. She leaves a note for her father and steps outside, but Ozzy starts running away and MK starts to catch him. Back at the ceremony, Queen Tara takes the help of Bart's caretaker Mop and Grub to choose the next heir. Tara makes her choice with her internal feelings and gives the pot her powers so it can go into the next life of the forest. The beautiful moment is ruined by the sudden attack of the Bogans. 
the leaf men get in positions to save the audience and especially the queen. The Boggans destroy the queen's carriage and she has to use her powers to drive away the enemies. The warriors come to get her but, but she orders them to save others while she distracts the Boggans. Mandrake decides to go after the queen himself but Ronan reaches there to save her. They get continually attacked by arrows and unfortunately, one of them hits the queen. She falls down where Amke is looking for her dog. Suddenly Amke shrinks and becomes a tiny human. Without thinking much, she rushes to help Tara. The queen gives her pot and tells her to take it to Nimgalu. Ronan reaches there and sees Tara dying in his arms. They had romantic feelings for each other but did not get a chance to express them. Ronan has no time to mourn because he must take care of the next heir. He does not know much about the pot, but Nim Galu is a scroll keeper and lots of knowledge, so he might know more. That's why the queen mentioned him. Mama and Grub join him too, as they are the official caretakers of the pot. Ronan also invites MK as Tara must have chosen her for a purpose. Moreover, Nim Galu may know a spell to send MK back to her world, unknown to what happened in the ceremony. Nord is busy competing in a race. He joined the race just as a placeholder and must not win. But Nord shows off his skills and win the race. Mr. Bufu who fixed the race escorts Nord for drifting away from the plan. He orders his men to punish Nord, but Ronan comes to rescue him. He tells him all about what happened in the ceremony and the queen's death, while Mr. Bufu is eavesdropping on them. Nord volunteers to help and let him get rights with him. He tries to show off his skills and drives carelessly through the trees. After a while, they reach the part of the forest that has been destroyed by the Pogans. While flying there, MK and Nord get attacked by the Pogans and falls in a hole. There are rat living there. MK finds it really cute but for the rat, the tiny humans are like food. They almost get eaten but Ronan reaches there in time and scares away the filthy rat. He believes it's safer for MK to ride with him while Nod will travel with the slugs. The Bogans are still after them and kidnap Mr. Bufu. They ask him about what he heard from Ronin and where they are heading next. Meanwhile, Ronin and others have reached Nimgalu's place. Surprisingly, all the other Leafs men have already gathered there looking for the answers. Nimgalu is like the wise old man for the forest. He claims that the tree he lives in contains the history of all the events ever happened in the forest. They are written in numerous scrolls. He tries to calm down the public who are panicking because of the rumors they hear about the queen's death. Nimgalu picks up a roll to read the truth but he is left in shock after realizing that the rumors are true. He does not tell it to the public and goes to meet Ronan who tells him about Queen's last words. Nimgalu does not know about the pot himself, but he can check out the past events of blooming pots that must be in the scrolls. He reads that once the pot is chosen by the Queen, it will bloom eventually, but it should happen under the light of a full moon. The half scroll is destroyed by the termite, so they can know what will happen if there is no moonlight. Before leaving, MK asks for Nimgalu's help, so she can return back home. He does not do magic or see the future, but he can replay the memories from the past. He opens the scroll of the moment when MK turns tiny queen Tara told her that she has a connection with the leaf people. She must stay with the pot. Once her task is completed, she will return home. Ronan does not to look after the pot till he informs the leaf men at the Moon Heaven Palace about their arrival. However, Nord believes that the pot is in a safe place, so he sneaks out with MK to impress her. They ride a deer together and get closer to each other, just like Nord lost his dad. MK lost her mother, so they developed a good understanding. Unfortunately, the Bogans reach Nim's tree and kidnap the pot along with the two snails. Ronin scores Nord for her negligence and calls him a selfish person who does not care about the life of the forest. Ronin decides to follow the Balkans by himself, but MK calms him down and suggests that they should do it together. She even has a good plan. They can disguise themselves as the Balkans and sneak in their place to rescue the pot. MK believes that they can find some of Balkans' costumes in her dad's house. Meanwhile, Mandrake blames the leaf man of his son's death. As revenge, he will let the pot blossom in the darkness and make him the Bogans prince. That's what was written in the damaged part of the scroll. 
These men must hurry to save their lives. MK finds a bunch of insects parts his father has collected. They can be used to look like ball guns. Nod and Ronin recognize Bomba because they have seen him in the forest. They start making fun of Bomba because of his slow speed compared to their own. They also mock the old scientist who will never be able to find the leaf man as they keep distracting him to the wrong places. MK feels really bad and reveals that Bomba is her father. She further proceeds to grab Bomba's attention to let him know that he was right. Suddenly, Ozzy attacks them out of nowhere and Bomba notices them too. He runs around with a vacuum machine to catch them. Ronin and not run away, but MK gets caught. However, Bomba friends in shock after seeing his own daughter. Before leaving, MK marks Moonhaven's location on the map. They disguise themselves as Bogans and enter their place. Ronin distracts the guard while Nod and MK rescue the pod. Mandrake spots them and calls his army. Ronin sacrifices himself and tells Nod and MK to run away with the pod. They fly to Moonhaven where all the preparations have already been done. The pod is placed under moonlight, but suddenly it starts getting interrupted. The Bogans are blocking the moonlight. Nod wears the warrior uniform and leads the army in place of Ronin. MK wants to help, but Nim asks her why she wants to sacrifice everything for a world she can't even see. This reminds her of her father who sacrificed everything to discover a world he couldn't see. She rushes to get his help and finds the cameras. Bomba has woken up but he assumes that everything was a dream. He lost his wife and his daughter for the sake of worthless research. Thinking this, Bomba turns off all of his monitors without realizing that her daughter is calling him. But then he notices the mark on the map and realizes that he was not dreaming. He rushes to Moonhaven and meets her daughter. However, he is too stunned to listen or speak. MK pulls out his phone and turns on a video of pets. This distracts the Bogans and they run after Bomba. Ronan is still alive and he stands beside Nod to knock off Mandrake. The pot blooms under full moonlight and chooses a young citizen as the next queen. Everyone bows to her and the forest gets a new life. As the mission is completed, it's time for MK to return home. She says a warm goodbye to Nod and kisses him as a confession of her love. A few days pass by, MK has decided to work with her dad and create books and documentaries about the Leaf Man. Besides that, whenever Nod has time, he stops by in front of the cameras and talks to MK. Though she couldn't continue her romance with Nod, they are still good friends. Just because you can't see it, you can't assume that it doesn't exist. Sometimes you must take a second look, a closure one. The movie ends here. Thanks for watching. If you like it, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel.